Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are back in the land of Athens and East Athens. Uh, we just pieced out Georgia. We gave them uh, a light slap on the wrist. We took 50% of their trade power for five years. We also annexed Bosnia. We're just going to release them as a wonderful, wonderful Hellenic vassal. Uh, and the plan is to take... One, two, three... Probably, yeah, probably these five provinces from uh, the Golden Horde. Uh, but before we do that, we need to peace out with Chernigov, and that's going to take some doing. Lithuania needs to do their part. They need to kill these armies, and also they need to come up here and siege Yaroslavl. If they don't do that, uh, then I don't think there's any chance for peace. You know, I could go siege Yaroslavl. That is a thing that I could do, so let's go do it. Because I already have access to the Golden Horde because we're at war. I hadn't thought of that last episode, but I thought of it now. Ooh, what do we got? Conquer Lesbos. Conquer Sinop. Lesbos. 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 Limnos. Lesbos. I have to conquer Lesbos because it has cloth. Well, I would love to, but it's the whole coalition thing. I mean, we could attack the coalition. It's just kind of... Maybe not so smart idea. Who knows? Uh-oh. Georgia. Kiev. Uh, we're pretty good in Kiev. Why don't we come back there? And we'll use that diplomat for whatever the hell we need. Okay, let's go. Actually, you know what? I probably don't want Lithuania to win this war. I don't want them to get the union over Yaroslavl. So I think I won't go siege it. What I will do, though, is... Uh, peace out. Military genius. Good. Excellent. Our heir, of course, has strong claim, even though he's a, a pretty shitty leader. And he's a really bad general, too. He's a 1-2. Terrible general. But... Uh, it's nice that he has strong claim. Another new nation? Hello, Bashkiria. Oh, look at that. He's a tribal federation. What the fuck? If you say so. Riga. Can I claim anything on you? Can I fabricate? I don't think so. I don't border you. No. Uh, but we do have religious, so we should be able to just declare on him like right away. As soon as we peace out, it should be fine. He's already at war with France. That's great. Call for peace. Yeah, but I need to peace out here first. Yay, air shows aptitude. Great, get our legitimacy up. We're at 100 legitimacy now. Fantastic. Ooh. Travunia converts to Hellenism. Hellenism. Really? I didn't even do anything. And it converts to Hellenism. Wow! Well, that was nice. I didn't even send a missionary there. It's like, yeah, sure, you can convert. Why not? God, the Golden Horde is just collapsing. It's pathetic. You want to peace out yet? Nope. Oh, he's really close, though. 39 out of 40. I may not even need to finish these sieges, but I'll keep the sieges going anyway. Uh, we'll just immediately peace out. Lithuania will not like that we peace out separately, but tough balls. I got shit to do, Lithuania. You don't understand. Is it time yet? Is it 25%? Nope, still 20. All right, we'll wait. I would like to go beat up Trapsend. I really would. I think we might do that. Because they would definitely remain the war leader. And our new buddy, the Chobanids, would help. He's got 16,000 guys over here. How many units does Trapsend even have? Going the right way for Trapsend. 19,000. So he's not that threatening. But his tech is... What, two ahead of us? Yeah, he'll be two ahead of us at the time. Hmm. We've had so many bad kings and stuff. 
which means we have less military points, but we've also been wasting military points, uh, keeping revolts down. I don't know, it's not really a waste. Keeping revolts down is kind of important to me. Oh my god, are they actually sieging the war target? They are. They are finally someone. Mazovia finally decided to siege the goddamn war target. They're going to get war score. Hallelujah, they figured out how to get war score. Can we peace out yet? Nope. Damn it. Brandenburg declared war on Hungary. Good, good. They used to be allies, so it's nice to see them uh, fighting each other. Our painter died. No. All right. Don't need the Master of Mint. Wait, do I? Uh, not really. What do we got? Well, there's nothing useful except the build cost guy, but if I do that, that'll be all of my income. So we'll go for the inflation guy. Whatever. Come on, finish a siege. Let me peace out. Please. Fuck, fail. Fucking fail. Failed again. Story of my life. Oh, France pieced out Austria separately. You'll give core Marburg to Styria. Ooh. Alright, hello Styria. Yep, okay. You'll give Treviso to Venice. Okay. And pay 40 ducats. Alright. So Austria lost two provinces. They're still strong, but they lost two provinces. Good job, France. And France is still in that war. Yeah, France is still invading Hungary. So the war's not over. But we did fail sieges twice again. Let's see if we're going to fail again. Yep, failed again. Ah, the joy of sieging. Failed again. Failed again. This is just amazing. And we got the capital. That should be enough to peace out, right? Nope. There we go. Yeah, just peace out. Oh, shit. France made Hungary give Nice to Serbia. All right. It's fine. All right, so we peaced out separately. That'll piss off Lithuania by 30, but he still likes us. It's not the end of the world. Uh, let's get these troops home. And just go all to Byzantium. It's fine. And now we can peace out the way we want up here. Sir, I think we want... Yeah, we wanted those. We're going to release a vassal Ukraine. Give him Zaporozhye. Attack Kiev. Uh, give this land, all of this, to Wallachia. Attack Hungary. No, do I want to attack... Oh, I need to release Bosnia. I mean, there's so many things I need to do. Uh, but that's a good start. Uh... We can do we can actually demand a little bit more. I don't really want anything else though. Return cores to Genoa. No. Return to Muscovy, return to Yaroslavl. There's a, so much shit he could return. Poltava to Kiev. Nah. No, I think that's fine. We'll just do that. Uh, that's a lot already. I mean, that's a big thing to, to demand. So we'll just do that. Done. Wow, we have a lot of land now. Yeah, overextension is a bit of a problem, but we didn't go over the limit, which is good. Uh, release Bosnia, please. Place to be. Hello. Hello, Bosnia. And can I release Ukraine? Yes. Hello, Ukraine. Ukraine is game to you? Beautiful. Now, that is going to incur a bit of aggressive expansion. Just a bit. 46. Uh, 53. Yeah, we may start getting the coalition again. Damn it, with the coalition. Oh, the knights don't care. The knights could care less. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, we can keep keep working on Georgia a bit. Georgia's still happy. He don't care. Only five aggressive expansion on Georgia. Lithuania only took one aggressive expansion. Yeah, no one cares. It's because of the culture. Culture, religion, it's so different. Oh. Uh, no, let him keep the stability. No problem. New vassal. Uh, keep the stability. No problem. New vassal. Production research, research flawed. We'll take the prestige hit. No problem. Oh, now we're two over our Diplo limit. Three! Oh, because we have military access in Novgorod, Seversky. We should get rid of that. So give me a Diplo... Well, well, yeah, let's start selling some land first, and then we'll give the Diplomat. And yes, our vassals released as Hellenic, of course. Of course. So we can sell them all that junk. Relations with Dauphine, okay. Ooh, salted beef happened to us. Okay. Uh, we're going to lose it in two seconds here, but sure, you can have access. Whatever. Uh, Wallachia. Oh, we lost our extra diplomat. Of course. Of course. Come on back. Wallachia. Here. Have province. Okay. Now, he doesn't need a claim or a core. In this mod, I think it just has to... Oh, shit. In this mod, I think it just has to be the same culture. Or maybe even just the same culture group. I don't know. But yeah, look at that. He'll pay 120 ducats for Chilia. You got it. You earned it, Wallachia. Now, the, the one thing I don't like about Wallachia is he's the wrong religion. But whatever. He'll he'll pay to core all the stuff at least. Uh, and it's all his religion anyway, so he'll like it. Y'all learned a lot at Wallachia. Son of a bitch. Ottomans and Venice. Hmm. 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 Serbia, Armenia, and Trapsund. Serbia, Armenia, and Trapsund. So we would have to fight Trapsund, but I think we can handle Trapsund. They're tough, but they're not that tough. And we do have claims all over the Ottomans, so there is that opportunity. Actually, we only have two claims on them, but whatever. Two claims, claims all over, same thing, semantics. Now, I don't think Wallachia will buy these two while he's coring this one. I think he has to finish coring this, which he's not even doing yet because he's a lazy son of a bitch. Uh, but I think he has to finish coring it before he'll buy another one. So this one's good because uh, he doesn't need to core it before he can buy a second one because I don't have a second one to sell him. So that's easy enough. There you go. Uh, Alliance from Novgorod Seversk. Um, how about you shove that up your ass? Um, yeah, friendly. You can suck my balls. I don't care. Need to get rid of relation or access there. Get rid of that. He's like, oh, you want military access? I guess that means we can be best friends. I'm like, no, I want a military access so I can go kill your buddy who was right next to you. Right? All right, come on. Done. Now, I don't think I can sell this to my vassal, but let's find out. I think it's because he's scoring stuff. The knights will cede Alanya to the Carmenids. Oh, good. So the knights are even smaller. Yeah. Very good. But you didn't make him get rid of his alliances? No, you did not. The Palatinate, the Pope, and Armenia. Oh, he's not allied to Venice. Do I have a CB on you? Tell me I have a CB on you. Tell me I have a CB on you. Oh, my God. They really need to organize this. I, I can't look through all this shit. It's just a mess. I'm looking specifically for a CB on the Knights. I don't see one. I also can't fabricate because I don't border any of his stuff. So, yeah. And he doesn't rival me, so I can't do that. We can't do the rivalry war. Hmm. I guess I could declare on Armenia? No, I can't get a CB down there either. I don't know. That's a damn good question there, Shen. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at Wallachia. Can you buy this? I don't think he, I don't think so. Let's find out. Sell province. I don't think so. Nope. So he has to finish coring this. And uh, he hasn't even started. So it could be a while before we can sell these. So I guess what we should do is take our armies up here and just park them up there. Because if we're going to do rebels, if we're going to have rebels, it's going to be up there. In the meantime, though, why don't we go va uh, marry our vassals? There you go. 
and take a look at the tech cost because we're in January now. 25%? Yes, we're at maximum bonus on our tech uh, cost. But I think we might wait for this guy to die. How many points can we store? We can store 1250. Well, let's just hope. Well, not really. We'll have, we'll have three less points per month. Well, I kind of want my king to die because his leader trait is strong, which makes tech cost 10% more than normal. Very annoying trait to have. Nine out of seven. Are there any relationships we can get rid of? Maybe, maybe not. I might want to get rid of the alliance with the Chobanids for now. Hmm. Hmm. I really don't know what we should be doing now. I want to go vassalize Serbia so we can attack. Maybe we should just attack Hungary. Like, we're going to need to take these two to sell them to Wallachia. And we're going to need to feed Bosnia provinces. And right now, Hungary is in all these wars. He has no allies, so now's a good time to go attack. Yeah, I guess we'll just attack him. Uh, we can't start annexing anyone right now, so let's go for piling on Hungary. Holy war. Sure, whatever. Lithuania wants in. I thought, no, Lithuania's already in the war, so that's fine. Go vassals. I, I probably don't even have to lift my finger for this. I don't even see any hunger. Oh, there we go. Hungary has one army, one unit. Uh, yeah, actually, do they have more than that? Not a little bit. They have, like, no army. So, vassals, go forth, uh, cause problems. I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother. Lesbos, Rhino, Sinop, National Decisions. Ah, military research. There you go. Oh, here we go. Let's see, battlefield management. Uh, what the hell does battlefield management, discipline, plus 2.5, combat ability, leader maneuver, eh, leader siege, Land attrition recruitment. Those are terrible. Those are terrible. I'm just going to ignore them. Inflation is going down pretty rapidly. That guy is just a miracle worker. Oh, you know what we can do? We can build our second olive press. Yes, we can. Cheaper stability until the end of the game. Don't mind if I do. So Ukraine doesn't have any cores up here. That's a it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird that they have one core randomly just on the coast of the Black Sea. But whatever, we'll release them and then we can go attack Kiev. In fact, uh, Kiev really has no allies. Do we have CB on Kiev? I think we do. Yeah, we'll have to check in a little bit here. Mm, let's get relations up over here. Keep them nice and happy. Who else needs hugs? No. Oh god, he really hates my balls. Oh, you would take an alliance. Wow, I don't really want it, but thanks. You don't want to come to the war. I think that's a good way to get rid of that alliance, but I don't know. 17 soldiers, that would be very useful. Maybe we will keep him around. Oh god, we've lost a lot of relations with Naples somehow. Oh. Because... Uh, we no longer have enemy of enemy bonus. We have the golden horde, which we probably don't need. Wow, look how many people hate the golden horde. I guess we'll keep that in there. That's a lot of people who hate the golden horde. Uh, Byzantium. Do we need Byzantium? Mm, yeah, because Serbia hates Byzantium. So that is useful. And I do want Serbia in my pants. Or the other way around, whatever. Serbia... Yeah, I don't really want to put the knights in there. At least not yet. I'm kind of hoping these guys flip, because then I'll be able to declare on the knights. I won't need a real CB. I already have a claim there. Hmm. France, 143. We're probably okay there. Oh, you know we can guarantee these guys. No, we already have a guarantee. Well, shit. I don't know. They're still friendly, so I guess it's fine. Anything over 100 is pretty much okay. Uh, Lithuania, yeah, that's okay. Oh, shit. Religious Rebels in KOTOR. Whatever. 
Alright. Group up. Split in half. Yeah, and I think we'll put... I think I will put Hungry in there, just because we're at war with him right now. Ukraine is now a principality government. Principality. Duchy. Feudal monarchy. Feudal monarchy. I wonder why he went principality. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what that really means. England annexed Dolmond. Okay. So he's almost got Ireland all done. Hmm. Hellenism settled in Kotor. Very nice. Naples is improving relations. Okay. Hmm. I think I do want to declare on Kiev. Not sure if this is too early or what, but I think I do want to. Just take maybe these two. Might be able just to annex them. Maybe. Yeah, my vassals are having no trouble here. There's like no resistance. Let's go keep the Mamluks happy. Poor bastards. Oh man, Hungary is just so colorful right now. Poland has a ton of cores that they could get back here. I wonder if they'll do that. They may not. Mantua next Modena. Okay. Uh-oh, Novgorod declared war on Kiev. Oh, shit. Well, I don't think Kiev really has an army, so this could be a problem. Although I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, they're all Ruthenian anyway, so I could sell all that to Ukraine anyway. He just has to core them one at a time. Checkbox is off. Why are you standing on my face, Ukraine? Uh, Venice, how are we? We are not good. Wow, he really hates our butt. Well, I guess I ought to fabricate on Ragusa. I didn't do it. I totally didn't do this. Totally did not do this. You didn't see anything, okay? Wow, look at the beautiful colors in Hungary. Bavaria next Ulm, okay. Lithuania is improving relations. That's great. France is happy. Naples is happy. As long as all our allies stay happy, I'm happy too. I just don't know if I want the Chobanids. They're friendly. And he's shown himself to be pretty strong. And he's got some vassals. So, I mean, I guess he's useful. I just don't want to wind up in a si Oh, even George is happy with us. I just don't want to wind up in a situation where we have, you know, way too many relationships. I mean, nine is not that bad. We're only two over the limit. We'll see. 
You know, a free stability event would be nice right about now. Aragon will seed Jaka, Teruel, Huesca, and Monresa to Castile. Wow. So, France, you probably should have helped Aragon. <laughs> Look what little is left. There's like nothing there. Poor Aragon. And it looks like it's time to go kill these guys. We got the walls busted, and I don't want them to win because Hellenism has already been settled there. So we better stop them. I thought our vassals would do it, but no, vassals are pretty fucking lazy. France entered a coalition against Castile. Well, that's new. England entered a coalition against Castile. Okay. What's up, rebels? Aragon entered coalition? Well, that was to be expected. Rolling zeros. Good job. That's nah, fine. Hungary will give core to Poland, give core to Serbia, give core to Serbia. All right, so Serbia is getting too big. Uh, I don't think I can even vassalize them anymore because they're too big. Yeah, I can't. They're definitely too big. Well, that really sucks. Oh, my goodness. God damn it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Moldavia has spawned. Hello. And he's in the coalition against Hungary. I'm just going to go and next him. Goodbye, Moldavia. Nice knowing you. Poor Hungary. I can't say they didn't deserve this. They really did. They're, they're douche nozzles, but still. Yeah, I think I am going to have to break this alliance. I'm sorry, Chobanids. Uh, call to arms. There you go. Ah, oh, bastard didn't join. Well, that got rid of a relationship. Good. And France triggered the war against Castile. Well, coalition time. So is Lithuania even up here? No. So to get the Union, the war is for Union over Yaroslav. To get the Union, he's going to have to come up here and siege Yaroslav. He's not doing that. He doesn't even have access anywhere, so he's never going to do it. It's a very weird situation. Did you core that already? Holy shit! Ukraine cored this already. We just sold it to him. And Wallachia cored Chile already. Wow! Amazing. So, wow, we're going to be able to sell land pretty quickly. Bohemia vassalized Ratibor peacefully. Okay. Ah, shit. Venice discovered our agent. How close are we to finishing? Just curious. 82%. Okay. God damn it. Oh, he unrivaled. He unrivaled me. I have no words. He has rivaled Durkader for some reason. Well, you know what? 
You have unrivaled me, therefore you are awesome in my book. I am going to take out... Well... Sure, take out Byzantium. We're going to put Switzerland in there. Venice, you and I are going to be allies again. Because lull. That's why. Everyone's leaving the coalition against Hungary because they're just getting annihilated. Ooh, Ryazan's back. Venice entered a coalition against us. What? Fuck Venice. We're at positive relations. Stop it. Why'd you have to discover me fabricating claims? <laughs> oh, man, Venice. Bastard. How dare you discover me? It was supposed to be a secret. Alright, the Oirat Horde just kicked the Golden Horde's butt. Looks like Trabazon is fighting rebels. Yeah, Georgian Patriot rebels. So they're really in no position to fight at all. I find that hilarious. Okay, we're at our max point, so we might as well spend it. Even though our king is not the best. Varangian guard. Alright. Varangian guard. You got it. I think I'm going to put you guys on Hunt Rebels. Just chill down there. Relations improve with Bulgaria. Okay, that's our vassal. Okay. Doesn't do much good. It's our vassal. guys traded capitals. They both siege each other's capital. Inflicting max wounds without actually getting anything done. Oh, Denmark is fighting Austria. That's cool. Oh, wow. Venice rivaled us again. Yeah, yeah, that happened. Oh, shit. Well, I should have been paying attention to Venice because we could have had good things with them. We could have done good things, but now it's not possible. Now I done goofed. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's all okay. It's just a little annoying, that's all. That's all. Not so bad. It's okay. Go vassals, go. Wonder what's gonna happen here. Neither of them really wants. F neither of them really wants to fight. Oh, look at that! Poland got some land back. 
military genius again. Poland got some land back from Hungary. Now, it's not the best, since he's still... It's unconnected. His capital's up here in Danzig now, but... <laughs> he can't walk through any of this shit, so what good is it, you know? Alright, we'll wait on the peace with Moldavia until we have call for peace. There's no reason to go early. Uh, I would like... Oh, there's our air. Please tell me our air is good. Our air is... Oh! Yes! 645 air. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. He's got six admin. We're gonna be able to get our stability up. Yes. Beautiful day. You know what? Go see to that. Actually, we don't need that, do we? Uh, let's see what we can do here. I mean, we haven't even sieged these. But can we get everything we want? One, two... Uh, don't care. Three, four, five... Oh, yeah. This, sh this stuff is cheap as chips. So, yeah. We can get everything we want here. Uh, costs us a few Diplo points, which we have lots of. Um, why is it all weird? So we can't do these. We can't do Donny Cry and Hum. Did you culture convert these? You, you son of a... No, there you go. There we go. Okay, I clicked them off by accident. They're all on now. I uh, could make him release Karatia. You know what? I should probably just take Dalmatia, and then I can release Karatia, right? Maybe I'll take Slavonia? Slavonia is probably a better one. So let's make sure we siege Slavonia. Go do that. Uh, and then we'll peace out. Good. Because I want to be at peace so we can raise our stability. Raising stability during war is just bad. Actually, it doesn't matter. I think we'll just take Zagreb. Yeah, sure. Take Zagreb. Take it. Done. And then we can release Croatia. Uh, I really wish... What's it called? I really wish Serbia was small enough to vassalize, but he's too big now, so not going to happen. Okay, done. Bosnia gets big. Everyone likes it when Bosnia gets big. I'm at war, so I can't release vassals. Of course I'm at war. Derp. Did you say derp? Oh, integration's complete. We can start annexing Bulgaria. Yay, finally. So now we're at stage six, which gives us plus 200 relations. Yep. Finally. Stage six. So we'll do that as soon as we hit peace button. Uh, can I have a diplomat, please? Yeah, come on back. Uh, yeah, come on back. We'll use all of our diplomats for all of the things. The thing of the thing. Alright. Next, your dumbass, and get out of here. Okay. Wallachia. Which one has the highest base tax? Well, let's go for Iasi. Whatever. No, no, no. There you go. Diplomat. Done. Um, we should probably go annex Kiev and what's his name? Novgorod Seversky, but uh, let's first start integrating Bulgaria. Because my goodness, have we needed that for a long time. Hellenism settled in Ephes. Nice. Castile wants to be our ally. It's not going to happen. And we're annexing Bulgaria. Wow. Finally. Finally. 
Oh, beautiful day. And it's nice that we're doing that at the same time that Wallachia is expanding. So we'll have, you know, a decent vassal uh, in Wallachia, even though Bulgaria is going away. No, I don't need a marriage. Nothing personal, but you're already annexing, so we don't need it. Uh, I do, however, want to... How long will this take? Eight years. Yeah, we'll just release this vassal. Uh, Karatia, there you go. Done. Great. And, of course, he is Hellenic. Bosnia is Hellenic. Uh, Bulgaria is Hellenic. The only, And Ukraine is Hellenic. The only one that's not is Wallachia. But uh, it's just because we weren't able to annex him in the peace deal. It was too expensive. It was cheaper to vassalize. All right. So he's going to core that. And now we need some land for Kiev, because Kiev needs to core some stuff. I mean, we need some land for Ukraine, because Ukraine needs to core some stuff. So if we declare on Novgorod Seversky, we'll have to fight Muscovy as well. In fact, Muscovy will probably take over leadership in that war, but Muscovy is not that much of a threat. You know, he's big. No, he's not. He's got like five provinces. Yeah, Muscovy's not that big of a threat, so yeah. But we don't border him. I don't think we have a CB on him. We do border Kiev. Uh, yeah, leave him there. You get stability. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, I don't have a CB there, but I do have CB on Kiev. Uh, so that would be easy enough to do. Just declare war, let our vassals do the work. Uh, do I want to do that right now? Let's take a look at stability cost while we're here. 253 because of overextension. Hmm... Well, you know what? Why don't we call this an episode here? Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. We're expanding again. But um, our coalition is expanding as well. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. But what can you do? What can you do? You can't always... I mean... Oh, goodness. To bake a cake, you gotta break a few eggs, right? You just gotta. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.